Okay, hi, my name is Nur Akila Bidazmi. You can call me Akil. Today, I want to a presentation about the effect of food packaging on environment. Okay, there's three sounds, two lot of rubbish and high temperature. So, when factory near the house, it produces noisy to the surroundings so people can get stressed. It means the more they produce from packaging, the more noise they make. Okay, second, too lot of rubbish that cannot be degraded. This is because have a lot of chemical content that cannot be degraded in short time. So it will be the effect to land if the food packaging contains chemical terms. For example, PVC, BPA, but then it's needs to sink and mercury that have a food packaging. Okay, third is high temperature. When factory make a lot of product, the smoke will make work or high temperature, not only that, effect greenhouse too. It is caused by reduced spread, tree fly and the environment the left trees and cannot absorb carbon dioxide. In addition, it can cause acids rain because sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide cannot be properly decomposed, dispersed in the air and combined with raindrop forming sulfuric acid and nitric acid as you can see at the picture thank you hi and assalamualaikum my name is Nurul Sunan Najihah Binti Ramdi um, I am part of HM112 food service management course from B1 class and currently I am finishing my second semester of two and a half year of diploma in Pematang Pau UITM to begin my speech um, I would like to explain about the effect of food packaging to the air and the soil. First, because a lot of us use to receive plastic as the conveniency for us to carry things and also to pack our stuff. Um, but once we were not in the period of time of using it, we will choose combustion as the method to dispose them. For this action, our earth need to face air emission or commonly known as air pollution. This problem usually happen on a large city such as China and India due to their possibility, like their huge, their more big possibility to get exposed to those vehicle smoke, aerosol use and of course the factory industry that must be producing much more smoke to support the citizens income. Um, which all this we call as anthropogenic source, which is the cause, the action that caused by us, not by our nature. Um, apart from that, for certain large countries such as Japanese, Indonesia, and the United States of America, they are more exposed to the natural source, which is the volcano ash. And from my point of view, all of this can be improvised. I repeat, improvise, not fix. If we don't start with this, yes, these all colorful and varying shape of container that at the end we call trash. And for the moment of truth, I will be explaining on how the trash can actually destroy our wonderful yet beautiful environment. First and foremost, just like what we used to learn in high school, the acid rain. Once the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide particle from the combustion smoke start together and mix with the water and the oxygen, the cloud will be producing acid rain. That will be changing the quality of our water, which will affect our drinking activity. Besides, it will also ruin by decaying our monument with its, um, its level of acidity. This will actually becoming a lush and huge loss for our country to cover for all the cause of damage. From the other perspective, acid rain able to change the quality of our soil, which will kill our family out. Once this happens, the production of our crops will be dropped and this will reduce our country's earning for the last part, I would like to share a little bit of my thought and suggestion on how to prevent 
the food packaging from being part of the environmental trap. First, from my point of view, we should start use the recycled item as the replacement to our packaging material. This step will help us to reduce the disposal of plastic material such as plastic water because the fact that the water bottle actually takes more than 450 years to be decomposed. Apart from that, we could actually kill two birds with a stone since by using recycled paper to replace our food packaging, we can rescue our trees from falling activities so that the greens can actually produce more of the oxygen to support us. Last but not least, I think it will be great if everywhere support this idea because by bringing our own lunchbox will actually save us a lot. To support my point, imagine how much food waste a restaurant don't have to bother if us, the customer, bring all of our food waste at their place to our house and then start on making our own compost fertilizer, which can also change into our income if we sell it anyway. Um, and yeah, if this habit can be normalized in Malaysia, the Malaysian can actually have another financial secure since they don't waste their food. Yeah, this is the end of my part. Thank you for your focus and have a nice day. Okay, today I would like to present my part about the effect of food packaging on the environment such or chain. So firstly, my name is Adila Zarifa Binti Ismail. My metric number is 2022897288. Okay, a threat to a chain as we know, uh, modern food packaging provide a way to make uh, food safe, like reliable, shelf stable and clean. But most food packaging is designed to be single use and is not recycled. What we can see the packaging is thrown away or and often litters our water away because so much food packaging especially plastic. This is a problem not only for humanity but for all aquatic life. Firstly, it can affect to marine life. It will kill them when animals mistake it for food or get tangled in it. All the plastic floating around the ocean is incredibly harmful to animals. Story abound of die turtles found with stomach full of plastic with straw stuck in their nose. It also can cause animals to become extinct. The second effect to ocean is humans. It will kill us, such as we, when we eat fish that have eaten contaminated plastic as we know plastic is made of chemical. It also can affect the human's income like fishermen. They cannot catch many fish because uh, fish are died and their income of fishermen is reduced. That's from me. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Nuralis and I will present the effect of food catching on the water. Water pollution is one of the most critical environment issues nowadays. This is due to the dumping of plastic waste by irreversible people into the river. Plastic packaging contains many chemicals. Unknowingly, our cell become portion to the water source. The supply of clean water for daily use can be affected due to this issue. The supply company must face the problem because they have to stop operation when the water supply is contaminated with substance that cannot be cleaned to the processes before the clean water can be distributed to the users. This causes problems to users. Feed loss are also the cause of this problem not being solved. Disposing of plastic waste into the water drainage has a huge impact on the environment. In our country, there are frequent floods in some places. The cause of this happens due to disposal of plastic waste into the river. The plastic waste that is thrown into the river every day will feed the river and cause the initially clear water becomes murky. Don't forget that this portion of plastic waste into drains and ditches will cause the water to not flow because it is blocked. Because of that, the water will rise and cause flooding. This is very problematic for many people if there is a flood. 
that's all from us thank you